Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a maze in Unity uh, using the Terrain tool. Um, one thing I should mention is I'm using the Terrain Tools uh, package which has just got some nice shortcuts for adjusting like brush size and stuff like that. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, cool, so first thing is I'm just going to make some terrain here um, and I'll illustrate it just by using the star tool. So yeah, basically if we have stamp terrain, uh, this this mode set here, then we can just stamp any shape we want into the terrain. So rather than using a star, we're just going to use a maze texture. Um, so luckily uh, there is this amazing website, uh, no pun intended, uh, <laughs> uh, called mazegenerator.net. Um, it's created by this guy, uh, Jan Bostrom. Um, he's done like an amazing job. Yeah, uh, it's it's got all different types of shapes, uh, width, height. You can adjust. Um, so yeah, I can just generate a new one here. Um, so we just need to save this as. Oh, one more thing. It's it's not free for commercial use. So if you are thinking about using this for a commercial project, just make sure you read this page. Um, he's just got some some money. Uh, he charges, uh, which is yeah, fair enough, because this this page is seriously incredible. Um, and yeah, so if if you just download this file as a PNG and then bring that into Unity, um, then <clears throat> we can basically create a oops uh, a, ter a new brush using uh, that texture. So if we just go to the train tool, hit new brush, find the texture that we want. Cool, now that's made a new brush here. Um, it also creates a new asset just down here in the Project Explorer. Uh, so we can just stamp that in and nice, we have uh, we have some uh, a maze. Um, one thing to note uh, that's not quite right, or at least in my opinion, is this bulge in the middle. Uh, so to get rid of, let me just undo. Uh, to get rid of that, uh, we can change the fall off. Um, this fall off parameter, you can actually see it previewed here. Uh, watch if I change this curve. Um, yeah, it basically it changes the fall off, the, the height of the brush as it goes towards the edge. So we just want that to be the same the whole way through. Um, and the other thing to note, uh, which may not be so obvious, but uh, the, the space where somebody would actually walk through the maze is, is tiny. Um, and yeah, that's, that's not really going to be good for gameplay. Um, and let me just undo that. The reason for that is the path here is represented by the white pixels, uh, but in the terrain tool that's represented, uh, the white pixels basically mean height. Uh, so we need to invert that and we can actually do that uh, just by clicking invert remap range and that will just swap the whites for blacks and vice versa. And now, boom, cool. Uh, that's pretty much what we want. And that is pretty much the tutorial. I'm just going to show you a couple more things, which is now down to my personal preference. Um, the the spiky sort of edge that you have here doesn't look nice to me. Um, it may be, may be okay for you if you're just making a prototype. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, yeah, it looks quite prototypey, I guess. That's, that's why I don't like it. Um, so <clears throat> let me just undo that. So basically to fix that, we actually need to adjust the width of these lines. Um, and I don't know of a great way to do that within Unity. So instead we go back to the maze generator and we can download this as an SVG file. And SVGs are great because they have all of the, uh, basically all the lines all these walls are just going to be represented by a ton of points, uh, like in sort of 2D space, I guess, um, which means you can do all sorts of stuff to them. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, if I download this this now as an SVG file, I can bring this file into my favorite uh, SVG program uh, for modifying it, which in my case happens to be Adobe XD. Um, which, yeah, oops, there's already something here. You can tell I've done this before. <laughs> um, so yeah, Adobe XD is a cool tool for like uh, just doing like UI and UX um, and everything is like scalable. Uh, so yeah, it's good for modifying SVGs. Cool. Um, so yeah, if we just bring that file in, I think it was in my downloads menu. Yeah, if I just drag this 
this SVG in here. Cool. Now I can zoom in and I just want to actually make it a little bit bigger because right now it's 320 by 320, which is not a great kind of resolution. Uh, so let me just make it like 2K. Yeah, about that. That'll do. Sweet. Um, so we can actually view the lines. Each individual line is represented by a different object. Uh, this is this is coming from the SVG uh, format, which is awesome. Um, so if I just select, basically the lines here also have a thickness um, which I can control. So if I just select all of these lines, all of them, and then uh, I can just change the thickness of them like that. So easy. Uh, yeah, maybe 40. That's that's good. I still want the paths to be slightly thicker than the walls. Um, just because, yeah, that, that's how, I don't know, yeah, it's how I sort of want it to look. Uh, and yeah, so that's, that's basically it. So now I need to just export this back to a PNG. Um, so in Adobe XD to do that, you just need to select everything, right click, go mark for export. Um, this little icon just means it's been marked for export. And what that means is if I export the parent object, then all of the, the children that are marked for export will be exported together. Um, so if I hit now Control E, oh, uh, just one more thing. I need to rename, let me, if I collapse that, rename this root node to like maze thick walls because this will be the file name it exports to. So Control E to export. And just select PNG here, um, export for design. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it's a, a UI tool, so you can export like two resolutions if you want, but uh, design is fine. Yeah, and then uh, choose destination. So I need to just find, oh, I think I'm in the right directory. Yeah, maze generator assets. Cool, select folder, export. Nice. And now if we go back to Unity, uh, we can, uh, let me just deselect that. We can see this texture here, maze thick walls. Um, you'll notice it's like completely black, uh, but everything is stored in the alpha channel here. Um, so yeah, we just need to to make it usable in the in the terrain tool. Um, I think the terrain tool uses the red channel, if I recall correctly. Um, if if there are color channels, otherwise, if it's an alpha eight texture, so just change the format there then yeah it just knows what it knows what to do so yeah if i go back to the brush and then just swap out this texture to my new one what was it called maze maze thick walls yeah this one cool um one other thing is we remapped it before but it's actually is that correct yeah i think we want to unremap it now oh it's a bit hard to tell but no, I think, I think, yeah, I think that way is correct. Yeah. Um, and if I stamp that in, woohoo. So yeah, that looks much, much nicer than what we had before. I can just give you a before and after. So that's with the thick walls. Um, if I just create a new brush with the old texture, I just need to go and modify these two things again. Um, sorry. Yeah. Um, this one. Just modify that, invert that, and yeah. So yeah, this is the one on the left is what we had before with the really thin walls and it's quite spiky and flimsy looking. And this is the nice smooth looking one on the right. And yeah, we've got a We've got a 3D maze in Unity now, and because this is terrain, this is going to have physics and everything you need on it. Um, and that is basically the tutorial. Uh, one more little thing, uh, if you want to hang around for just a few minutes longer, is uh, we can actually change the maze as well, um, now that it's just in the terrain tool, and we can use all the terrain brushes uh, to start modifying stuff. Um, so if I just hit Control A, we'll sample the, the terrain height when I've got the set height brush in use. Uh, so I can just delete a wall, like, just like that, so easy. And yeah, like, I don't know, maybe there's some section of the maze that you just wanna delete entirely, like create a sort of room or something. You can just do that so easily. You don't need to code anything into your maze generator. You can just modify it. Um, yeah, 
that's pretty cool. And what else can we do? We can say like smooth everything. So if I just make a massive brush, uh, yeah, I can just like smooth everything and create like a little bit of a kind of weird effect. Maybe just make it a little bit. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, you can you can raise and lower different parts of it. You can modify this uh, this maze as much as you like. Yep. So I'm going to stop the video here. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, I know I went through this pretty quickly. Uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to address them as soon as I can. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.